Sports Network. Coming to you live from Municipal Stadium. Today's game is hosted by the home team. They'll be defending against the away team. I'm Dan Stevens, and with me as always, Peter O'Keefe. Okay, let's do a rundown of the all-pro talent in today's game. Not one superstar, but two of them. These guys get all the attention, and for good reason. They're peerless. Simple as that. But the other team is also loaded with talent. Now, this is what I call an offense smorgasbord, Dan. I mean, really, how can any defense hope to hold these two guys from connecting up? Thanks, Peter. Now let's go to the coin toss. How you been? Ready to go? The visiting team will make the selection. What is the call? Tails. Tails it is. We'll kick. The visiting team have won the toss and select a kick. Barber boots it downfield and we're underway. Young catches it back at the nine. <laughs> Tackle at the 33. Steve Young was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The home team bring their offense on the field and will start the drive at their 33-yard line. Number 34 picks up six on the play, and that will bring up second down. Nate Abbey just strong-armed the defense into submission with a brutal lead block. For their rushing game, he, he's just so valuable there at fullback. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Number 34 gets the call again and takes it upfield. Chase down at the 50. Number 34 didn't see anywhere to go, so he just delivered a little paint and made himself some running room. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. First down, 10 yards to go. Goodwin tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Jeffrey Goodwin came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second and ten. Ball at the 50-yard line. Number 34 will get the carry on second down and maybe picks up one on the play. Number 34 used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Well, not much of a gain there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Number 86 snags the dart right sideline, and he will be short of the markers. That will bring up fourth down. Bauman winds up for the punt. Richardson is deep to receive. Bauman gets the ball and punts it away.
The away team offense comes out backed up against their own goal line. They will start at their own two yard line. Sims gets the call on first down and gets past the line. Tackled at the six. Gain of four yards on the play. Waters with the tackle. Second and six from the OA to six yard line. for a short loss. Derek Thomas got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. They don't let that play get back to the line of scrimmage, and that will bring up third down. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Sim carries it for a third time in a row and gets tackled short of the markers. Fourth down coming up. Derek Thomas made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. That's his second tackle so far. Ellis lines up in his own end zone for the punt. Ellis takes the long snap and punts it away. Young deals the punt at the 43. Stopped at the 37. Steve Young didn't get very far running that ball back, but on the bright side, the kick was pretty lackluster, so his offense gets pretty good field position anyway. The home team, stalled early last drive, will have to see what happens here. We'll start at the 37-yard line. James reels in the football, and he picks up nine. Damon James had nobody on him. The quarterback saw it and got the ball to him. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Second down, and they line up with three tight ends. Number 34 gets the handoff and gets well past the markers for a first. up four on the play. Number seven played this pass in beautifully, rendering the defense irrelevant. When you can make accurate throws like that, the whole field starts to open up for you. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second and five from the away to 19 yard line. Number seven throws a bullet and it's tipped incomplete. Steve Blakely came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third down, one man back. From the away to 19 yard line. Richardson makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. It'll be fourth down. Alvin Richardson couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. It seemed like the defense read that one from the beginning, and they forced the incompletion with relative ease. Beautiful call by the D coordinator. It'll be fourth down. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Conway kicks from 36 yards out, and they take the lead.
Nate Conway has no problem getting this one between the sticks for three. Oh, he was so close. He could have made that if he was wearing wooden clogs. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I have a feeling we'll never know for sure. Are kicking off. James back to the seat. Conway sends it downfield. James takes it at the 10. The 30. Damon James could have really done some damage off that less than stellar kick, but his run back is only so so. The away team will begin the drive at their own 30 yard line. Number 14 zips it to the left sideline and he connects for a pickup of four on the play. Goodwin had to leave the field earlier in the game and now we've gotten word on his condition. Peter? But well, he came off the field complaining of leg cramps and that's exactly what it appears to be. He's currently getting rubbed down to try to ease that pain but his return is questionable. Thanks, Peter. This one will fall incomplete. Clinton Wilkerson looked like he was all over that one, but it just got away somehow. Tough incompletion. They're massaging the injury in an effort to ease the pain, but it's unclear whether it'll work. The official word on his return? Doubtful. Thanks, Peter. Number 14 fires this one over the middle and the reception's made at the 39, eventually tackled at the 45. First down. Herman Moore took on three defenders and still came away with the football. Oh, insane. He caught it short of the marker but found a way to move the ball into first down territory. That's a huge play on third down. Otherwise, they'd have to kick it. First down, just a single receiver on the field. Chews up nine yards, and that brings up second down. Billy Sims got yards by staying so close to his blockers, I think they were sharing each other's aftershave. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Sims has his number called on second down and jukes to a first down. Billy Sims got some nice yards here off a brilliant juke move. Well, no pun intended, but he keeps the defense on the defensive. Always worried what he'll do next. They should be worried, Dan. He's tap dancing down the field right now. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. <laughs> play and that brings up Sims. second down he picks up five on the play waters with the tackle second down with second two tight five. ends to the right Sims gets his seventh carry of the game and will lose about a yard here and that'll do it for quarter number one. The home team with a small lead, three to nothing. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. 
Yancey Thigpen almost brought that baby in, but it was just off his fingers. That will bring up fourth down, and what a hard incomplete to swallow. That would have given them the first. And I think more. There was daylight around the receiver. Ellis gets ready to punt it away. Ellis takes the snap and kicks a short one. Young makes a fair catch at the 13. The home team have been locked in a defensive slugfest so far and will start this drive at their own 14-yard line. Number 34 will get the carry on first down and will gain close to six. Second and four from 20 yards. Gains five on the play, and that brings up first down. This is a nice run here, and when you watch the replay, Dan, check out his field vision. Great job of finding space. and runs into traffic. Number 52 takes him down back at the 21. Number 52 saw where that play was going right away and stopped it cold for a loss of yardage. A beautiful hit on that one. He really brought some thunder with him. And he rained on the offense's hopes of gaining some yards. In fact, the rest of this drive may get a little overcast. That's his second tackle so far. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Number seven passes this one, and it's tipped incomplete. Number 57 couldn't get all the way positioned for the interception, but still managed to graze the ball with his fingertips. That was the fourth time they've swatted the ball out of the air, and the offense is looking frustrated. The D is showing excellent fundamentals right here. Third and 14 from 21 yards. short of the markers. Fourth down coming up. Bauman lines up for the punt. The punt. Richardson is deep to receive. Overlay it all out on this punt block. Bauman gets the ball and punts it away. Richardson fields the punt at the 32. Stopped at the 38. Alvin Richardson didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The away team had their last drive stall at the tail end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their 38-yard line. He's at the 50, brought down hard at the 46. That will bring up first down. Oh, they gobble up a ton of yards on this play. This is a formidable rushing game, Dan. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. First and 10 from our own team, 46 yards. Sims gets the call again and heads out right. Tackled at the 44. 
Second and eight, ball at the 24 yard line. down from the shotgun. Number 14 throws this one right side line and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Pick up of 16 yards on the play. First down away team. Damon James tutors his man on the finer points of coverage on this play. A nice catch, but also a nice move to shake the coverage. He owned that matchup. A nice gain, and they easily convert on third down. Yeah, that was a good call. Go time. First and ten. Ball at the 25 yard. Sims got the catch out to the left, and that will be a gain of three yards. Billy Sims snatched it out of the air without any challenge from the defense, Dan. You know, my grandmother could have covered him better. He just couldn't get cranked up coming out of the tunnel, waiting until the second quarter to make his first catch. And you know, that's a big confidence builder, Dan. Now he should be able to settle into his game and contribute. takes him down back at the 25. Amon Luckins targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Nice job eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third and long. Third down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. Third down, 10 yards to go. Thomas makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. That will bring up fourth down. Derek Thomas came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Well, the knee holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Fourth down and the field goal unit is on the field. Barber with the 42-yard attempt, and it's good! Artie Archuleta handles this high snap perfectly. Sets up the ball. There's the kick, and it's good. Three points. Fields the kickoff at the 12. Drag down at the 32. Steve Young got a few yards off the run back there. Add that to the somewhat shallow kick, and that's a pretty good job by the special teams. The home team could take the lead going into the locker room as their offense will start at their 32-yard line. Calls him down in the backfield, and the clock continues to run. 
Number 52 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his third tackle of the game. Second down from the eye. Second and 10 from 31 yard. Number 34 has his number called on second down and only gets back to the line of scrimmage. Number 57 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Another good stop by the defense, and that will be two losses in a row. Third and 10. Ball at the 31 yard line. Number seven lets it go here, and it's complete at the home team. Take their first time up. Number seven throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. Great pass, Peter, and he's having a terrific day so far. You bet so far he's got 59 yards and no interceptions. First down, tight end to the left. Number 34 catches it in the flat, and that will be a gain of three yards. Number seven throws a heater, and he connects for a pickup of four on the play. Steve Young had nobody on him. The quarterback saw it and got the ball to him. A decent play, and they'll now face third and short. That's the key, Dan. Make third down easy, and they did just that. Now they just need to convert. We'll see what they do. Third down, two wideouts on the field. Number 86 catches it in the flat and... Number 86 got out of bounds after getting some yardage, but you can tell that it wasn't as much as he wanted. They didn't need much. They got even less. Not a good push on that play at all. It'll be fourth down. Fourth down and less than a yard. will hold the kick. Conway with the 41-yard attempt, and they take the lead. Nate Conway knocks through a good-sized kick. Watch here. Nowhere close to his max, but he's obviously still very pleased to pull it off. The field goal puts them in the lead, which is where they wanted to be heading into the locker room. Let's see if they can build on that slight lead in the second half. Conway kicks it away. James fields it way back at the six. Again gets free. Stop at the 30. There's a penalty marker on the play. Let's listen into the call. Looping, number 96, receiving team. Half the distance to the goal from the spot of the foul. First down. Victor Jones flipped his man on that last play, and the ref saw it, threw the flag. There's a penalty. The away team take the field with the clock at 15. Sims chews up four yards, and that brings up second down. Pick up of four yards on the play. Luckin with the tackle. 
And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The home team with a small lead, 6-3. to three. Well, Dan, what do you say? You ready to dive into the 2K Sports Halftime Show? Well, here's a look at our halftime stats, and as you can see, it paints a pretty clear picture. The away team should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponents hang in there with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. We'll pick up the action midway through the first quarter. After driving 18 yards on five plays, Conway would be called upon for the field goal try, and he'd come through. A 37-yard field goal. The home team strike first and go up by three. After driving 37 yards on seven plays, Barber comes on for the field goal try. Good spot, and this one is right through, no sweat. The away team connect on the field goal. Late into the second quarter, game tied, three all. Number seven went to the air, trying to convert on third down, and he found his man. And that will do it. The home team are holding on to a lead, six to three. All right, good work, partner. The away team will receive to start the second half, and this is a tight contest. Currently, they're down six to three. Now, let's get to the game. Conway sends it away to begin the second half. James fields the second half kickoff at the 13. Tackled hard at the 31. Damon James could have really done some damage off that less than stellar kick, but his run back is only so-so. The away team take the field and will start out at their 31-yard line. Number 14 fires this one over the middle, and it is not reeled in, incomplete. Kari Redman broke through the center of the field, but that play didn't look right from the start. Incomplete. Potential for some nice yards, but it falls incomplete. That will bring up second down. Hey. Second and 10 from the away to 31 yards. Good for a gain of five. Yancey Thigpen snatched it out of the air without any challenge from the defense, Dan. You know, my grandmother could have covered him better. After a previous miscue, he makes a great play, this time staying focused. Yeah, his drop earlier didn't affect his concentration on that last pass, really staying with it. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Number 14 throws a bullet to the flat, and this one is incomplete. Kari Redman, they were just a little off back there. Third drop of the game for him, Peter, and look, the coach looks absolutely frustrated. Oh, yeah, Dan, mistakes can kill what you're trying to accomplish on offense, no doubt about it. Ellis lines up to punt after the three and out. Ellis gets the snap and punts it away. Young takes it at the 23. Tackled at the 29. Steve Young got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The home team send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their own 29-yard line. Number seven throws a bullet to the flat, and the ball's caught at the 30, and he's stopped right there. Number 57 with the tackle. Second down, one man back. Down. 
Lewis tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Albert Lewis came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Yet another big play by this defense. That was their fifth batted ball today. Yeah, you can see them start to anticipate the path of the throw the minute the quarterback winds up. Third and eight from 31 yards. Number seven throws a high, long one to the right, and it's intercepted. Forced out at the 41. Steve Blakely slips right into the zone here. Whether the quarterback doesn't see him or just discounts him, I don't know. But he's in perfect shape to reroute that pass into his hands and send their offense to the sidelines. I mean, I suppose Miss Manners would have told him not to take something that didn't belong to him without asking, but Miss Manners has lousy hands anyway. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The away team are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 41 yard line. Sims gets the call on first down and picks up a couple. Second down, both tight ends left. Sims barrels off his left guard and moves forward for seven. Billy Sims can thank his blockers for that last play. If it wasn't for them, that play would have tanked. A great job to move the ball and get themselves into a third and short situation. This is a critical play for this drive. Yeah, now, Dan, they can just fall forward and make the play. Sounds easy, Peter, but we'll see if they can pull it off. Number 57 tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Number 57 anticipated the trajectory of that pass and stuck his hand in at the last moment. Great play. That was a fantastic job by the defense to stop what would have been a first down. I love to see Big D on third and short situations. Fourth down, defenses love to hear that from the refs. Fourth down, and they're going for it. The away team want to talk it over, and they take their first time out. Gets ready to punt it away. Ellis gets the snap and kicks a short one. Young makes a fair catch at the 12. Ball will be placed around the 13 yard line. The home team were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 13-yard line. Young grabs the fastball over the middle, and that's good for a gain of five. Steve Young took on triple coverage and came away with a phenomenal catch. This guy can really twist up the coverage in that short area. That's right, Dan. Those quick routes have been open for him all day. Obviously, that's what the defense wants to give him. Number 34 gets the toss and runs into traffic. McCarthy brings him down behind the line at the 16. Julius McCarthy would not be denied and dropped him for a huge loss. Big play. They don't let that play get back to the line of scrimmage, and that will bring up third down. Down! Sit! You don't get nowhere running the ball. 
Sandoval tackles him for a short loss. Fourth down coming up. Matthew Sandoval would not be denied and dropped him for a huge loss. Big play. That's his second tackle so far. Bauman lines up deep in his own territory to punt it away. Deep to receive. Oh, yeah, this one's mine. This one's mine. Bauman takes the long snap and punts it away. Richardson fields the punt at the 49. Stopped at the 44. Alvin Richardson racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The away team have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive that starts at the 44-yard line. Incomplete. Mike Carroll anticipated the trajectory of that pass and stuck his hand in at the last moment. Great play. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second and ten. Ball at the 44 yard line. Sims will get the handoff and choose up about four on the play. Third down with the tight end right. No good, incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Clinton Wilkerson looked like he was all over that one, but it just got away somehow. Tough incompletion. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Ellis lines up the punt after the three and out. Ellis gets the snap and punts it away. Let the punt bounce for a touchback. Pete Ellis saw his kick go squirrely on him for a touchback. <laughs> Tough luck. The home team have been locked in a defensive slugfest so far and will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Number 34 catches it in the flat, and that will be a gain of three yards. Lewis credited with the tackle. Second down, two tight ends in the game. Ball at the 23 yard line. Number seven, this on the rope, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Number seven makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow, now that is one confident QB. Again, he uses the middle of the field to advance the football, and uh -huh. Dan, why not? Well, they, they found some seams, some crease right in the middle, and, well, they feel they can take advantage of it at any time. Number 34 carries it for the 12th time and almost gets back to the line of scrimmage, but not quite before he's taken down. Greg Lloyd got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Picks up six on the play, and that brings up third down. Chris Haynes used every ounce of his big self to do some key blocking on that last play. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. 
Third down, three wideouts in the game. Number 86. They convert on third down. Number 86 made the grab as the coverage seemed like they were in another world. Whose man is he? When is enough enough? I mean, really. He finally corrals that last one, but only after a slew of missed opportunity. Well, I question going to a guy after so many unsuccessful attempts. Yeah. But, but they have faith in him, and it resulted in a completion that time. Number 34 gets the call on first down and will end up losing a couple. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The home team with a small lead, 6-3. Six to three. Number 86 makes a tough play and gets past the markers for a first down. Number 86 makes the catch, but watch here what he does after the completion. Caught and now fight for more yards. You can't coach that. That was exactly what the offense wanted. Good job not to even let it get to third down. He was still short of the yardage marker when he received that ball, but his legs and determination got him the first. First down, coming up on the 10th play of the drive. Number seven passes this one, and it's caught at the 31, and he stopped right there. Damon James had a defender close by, but was able to bring down the catch. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were you know, hoping for more. Second and eight. Number 86 snags the dart right sideline and gains a couple. Number seven, rifles it out left side, and the completion is made. Short of the markers, however, that will bring up fourth down. Jeffrey Goodwin brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. That's his second tackle so far. We'll come in to attempt a field goal from the 25 yard. Archie Letta on the hold. Conway with the 42-yard attempt and puts it through. It's good. Nate Conway knocks through a good-sized kick. Watch here. Nowhere close to his max, but he's obviously still very pleased to pull it off. That's his third field goal of the day, and giving your team nine points is nothing to sneeze at. Well, unless those nine points are covered by pollen. Watch it. Sorry, that makes no sense. All right. That. Sorry. Conway sends it downfield. James fields the kickoff at the five. <laughs> the 29. Damon James got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The away team haven't gotten much out of their offense recently and are looking to get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 29-yard line. Sims makes the nice catch and is at the 30, tackled at the 31. Billy Sims powered forward with the football thanks to some initial blocking. Problem was they couldn't keep that push going for very long.
Second down with a split backfield. Second and eight from the away to 31 yard line. Number 14 throws this one over the middle, and it falls incomplete. Clinton Wilkerson ran a short route back there and seemed to be open, but he just couldn't make the grab. Disappointing incompletion. Well, after three mental lapses, it may be time to stop throwing to him. I mean, what do you think? Yeah, Dan, my sentiments exactly. Okay, come on now. After four drop throws, you shouldn't be allowed to play anymore. Go home. <laughs> Amen. Thigpen catches it over the middle, and they get the first on third and long. Yancey Thigpen made the grab as the coverage seemed like they were in another world. Whose man is he? Well, you know, this is just not working. He made a good play on the ball, but for what? This team is always throwing short. Problem is, they're not picking up any significant yardage after the catch. Exactly. I'm checking counter! I'm checking counter! <laughs> Sims is at the 45, 30, finally stopped at the 21. Incredible run there. He's got great blocking, and that allows him to just pour it on for a monster game. What a run, and he is generating some great numbers. Oh, yeah, he's running hard, and up to now, he's got 102 yards on 16 carries. First down, 10 yards to go. past the markers for a first down. Yancey Thigpen had two guys on him on that play, but still managed to make the catch. Let's see if he can elevate his concentration from here on out. So far, he's been playing very weak. Yeah, he had two dropped passes in this game already. Might this catch put him back on track? We'll see. Billy Sims fought for a few extra yards after making the catch. You know, I like to see that in a player, that drive to get every last ounce out of the play. Time and time again, he makes a fantastic option of himself coming out of the backfield. Well, there are some runners that just have a knack for the passing game, and this guy's got it. up six on the play and that brings up third down john perry was assisted on that play by some great blocking that opened up holes for him without those blockers he would have been toast a decent play and they'll now face third and short that's the key then make third down easy and they did just that now they just need to convert we'll see what they do from the goal line. That will bring up fourth and goal. Jabari Naoli came in like a pack of wolves, cornering him in the backfield and then taking him down for a big loss. That's his second tackle so far. the ball on down. The home team will start this drive deep in their own territory with the clock at 1.56. Number 34, the away team will take a timeout. That's their second. Second down, just a single receiver on the field.
Number 34 takes it off the toss, and the away team take a timeout. That's their final one. Third down, the clock is stopped at 148. Number 34 takes it for his 17th carry and is brought down well short of the markers. The clock keeps winding down. It'll be fourth down. Well, Dan, they didn't get the first, but they did manage to stay in bounds. Looks like they're playing the time game, and they just won another 40 seconds. Bauman lines up in his own end zone for the punt. Well, this is where the offense goes in slow motion. No hurry to start the play. Use up as much time as possible. Bauman gets the snap and punts it away. Richardson fields it at the 42. Brought down at the 40. Alvin Richardson fielded the ball, and although he was dropped pretty quickly, that terrible kick gives him some good field position. The away team were stopped on fourth down last time out. We'll see what happens as they start this drive at the 40-yard line. Number 14 throws a heater right sideline, and the reception is made. That will stop the clock at 55. Yancey Thigpen got out of bounds at the end of the run and wisely stopped the clock. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second down, one man back. Moore catches the heater left sideline and gets the first. He's out of bounds, and that will stop the clock at 52. Number 14 demonstrated his arm. The replay booth will review the previous play, whether the pass was caught in bounds. Dan, when we check out the replay here, we should be able to see if the catch was made prior to going out of bounds. After review, the pass has been ruled incomplete. The catch was made out of bounds. Third down. Third down. The clock is stopped at 52. They couldn't connect on this one. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Fourth down, and they're going for it. Number 14 fires this one over the middle, and they convert the big fourth down play. Number 14 spikes the ball, and that will stop the clock. Second down, tight end to the left. Third down, the clock is now at 30.
Sims hauls it in right side. He's looking for room. Fourth down, and they're going for it. Number 14 zips it to the left sideline, and it falls incomplete. They will turn the ball over on down. Herman Moore almost got this baby, but it just glances off his fingertips. Peter, they had to go for it. A field goal would have got them closer, but they still would be down. A tough break, and now they're going to have to hope for some type of a miracle here. Dan, this game right. is over. There's no way for the D to stop the clock, and the offense is just going to sit on the ball to win this one. Number seven takes a knee, and that will do it. With this one in the books, let's take a look back at some of the action. So, the ball game is over. Let's take a quick look back at how it went with our post-game show. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Blakely was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. After driving 55 yards on 10 plays, Conway would be called upon for the field goal try and he'd come through. The home team connect for their third field goal. Midway through the fourth, the away team losing by six. Sims is going to show a little athleticism here as he finds an opening and then he's off to the races. The away team have it again. Number 14 set up shop as they decide to go for it on fourth down and he delivered. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play. And that's how we'll round this one out. The home team edge out a win, nine to three. And now for our 2K Sports player of the game. Nate Conway turned in a great performance today. What a performance. And I have no doubt that this isn't the last time he'll showcase his talents. We'll be hearing much more from this guy as time goes on. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time.